Hello dreamers and welcome to The Sleepy Scholar, the podcast that helps you learn in your dreams. I'm Debbie and tonight we'll be sailing to the mystical shores of the wild Atlantic Ocean in the west of Ireland. Before we set sail, I want to thank you for joining me on this journey. I know what it's like to have difficulty sleeping, and it's my mission to help you to get a better night's sleep. If you find comfort in my stories, please consider subscribing to my channel before you drift off. By becoming a part of our community, you'll ensure that you never miss an opportunity to explore the wonders of storytelling and drift off into dreamland. And you'll help me too. I always welcome your suggestions for stories you'd love to hear, or even just a simple hello. Now, as we embark on this journey together, I invite you to take a moment to find your cosiest position, allowing yourself to sink deeper into relaxation. Release any tension you may be holding on to, letting go of the busyness of the day. Feel the weight of the world gently lifting off your shoulders as you surrender to the soothing sounds of my voice. Inhale deeply, filling your lungs with fresh rejuvenating air and exhale slowly releasing any lingering stress or worry. With each breath imagine yourself surrounded by a cocoon of warmth and safety cradled in the comforting embrace of the night. As you continue to breathe deeply and evenly, allow your mind to wander freely, drifting away from the cares of the waking world. Here, in this sacred space, you are free to explore the depths of your imagination guided by the gentle currents of your dreams. So, dear dreamers, let us set sail on this voyage of the mind, where the boundaries between reality and fantasy blur, and the mysteries of the universe await our discovery. When you're ready, allow your eyes to close gently. And let the story begin. Tonight's story is called The Selkie's Lullaby. But what are these mysterious beings known as Selkies? In Irish and Scottish folklore, Selkies are creatures that inhabit the liminal space between land and sea. They are said to be seals in the water, able to shed their skins and transform into beautiful humans on the land. Legend has it that when a selkie dons their seal skin, they return to the ocean depths, but when they remove it, they walk among us captivating all who cross their path. Now, let us journey to the wind-swept shores of the west of Ireland, where the sea sings its ancient songs 
and the waves dance in rhythm with the heartbeat of the earth. Here, the ocean stretches out like an endless tapestry of azure blue, its depths holding secrets beyond our wildest imaginations. As we gaze upon the golden sands of Enniscroll, gazing out at the horizon where the sea meets the sky, let us immerse ourselves in the enchanting beauty of this coastal landscape. The salty tang of the sea air fills our lungs mingling with the sweet scent of wildflowers that cling to the dunes above. Listen closely and you can hear the whispers of the sea carried on the breeze like echoes of a long forgotten melody. The waves crash against the shore in a symphony of sound, their rhythm a lullaby that soothes the soul and beckons us to explore the mysteries that lie beneath the surface. Before us lies a realm of wonder and mystery where the boundaries between land and sea mix and the realm of the supernatural intersects with the mundane world. Here, amidst the glistening seaweed and soft sands of Enniscroll, the stage is set for our Selkie's tale to unfold. Fado, fado, in the sacred quietness that can only be found at dawn, when the first blush of sunlight kissed the rugged shores of Enniscroll, the world awakened to a symphony of whispers carried upon the salt-tinged breeze. Here, amidst the timeless dance of land and sea, stood the Selkie Rocks, weathered by centuries of wind and wave, their ancient forms bearing witness to secrets whispered by the ever-shifting tides. Amongst the dunes, where the marum grass swayed in harmony with the morning light and the cry of gulls echoed in the distance, stood Tady Rua O'Dowd. His presence was a study in contrasts, for though his stature spoke of strength and resilience, his eyes betrayed a vulnerability hidden beneath a stoic facade. Tady was a man of the land, bound by duty and tradition, yet his heart yearned for something more, something elusive and untamed. The O'Dowd, for that was how he was known, was no ordinary man. As the newly elected chieftain of his clan, he bore the weight of leadership with a solemn grace, his heart heavy with the burdens of duty and tradition. Yet beneath this stoic exterior, a restless spirit stirred, longing for a connection that transcended the boundaries of mortal existence. It was amidst the rugged beauty of Enniscrone's shores that Tady's path converged with destiny. 
for fate had spun a web of mystery and magic that would eternally change the course of his life. For Teddy had always been drawn inexorably towards the sea, where the constant crashing of waves soothed the burdens of his mind. As the morning sun cast its pink hue upon the sands, Tady's footsteps echoed softly against the earth, a solitary figure in a world of shifting sands and endless horizons. With each step he drew closer to the heart of the mystery that awaited him, unaware of the fateful encounter that lay just beyond the reach of his outstretched hand. In quiet thought, Teddy Rua O'Dowd wandered along the beach, his footsteps leaving imprints upon the soft sands that stretched towards the horizon. With each stride, his heart weighed heavy with those burdens of leadership, with that weight of responsibility, which was as unyielding as the ocean's depth forever pressing against him. But as the sun cast its gentle glow upon the world, Tady's eyes were drawn to the distant silhouette of a figure perched upon a solitary rock, bathed in the ethereal light of dawn. Intrigued by the sight, he quickened his pace, drawn towards the mysterious presence that beckoned to him from afar. With each step, the sound of the ocean grew louder, its rhythmic cadence a symphony that echoed the tumultuous tides of Tady's own heart. And there, Amidst the rugged beauty of the coastline, he beheld a vision unlike any other. A maiden, radiant and otherworldly, her form illuminated by the soft hues of the dawn. Mwiran sat upon the rock, her auburn hair cascading like strands of silk upon the wind, her song weaving through the air like a siren's call. Enraptured by her beauty, Tady stopped in his tracks, his breath catching in his throat as he beheld the sulky maiden before him. In that fleeting moment, time stood still. The world around them dissolved into nothingness as Tady and Mwirin's eyes met, igniting a spark of love. Here, amidst the ever-changing landscape of the sea and sky, their worlds collided in a fleeting moment of chance, bound together by the timeless allure of Ireland's shores. With a mixture of awe, and reverence that was uncharacteristic for the O'Dowd, Tady Rua approached the Selky Maiden, his heart pounding with a newfound sense of purpose. With each step, he drew closer to the radiant figure seated upon the rock, her eyes sparkling 
with an otherworldly light that captivated his very soul. With trembling hands and a voice filled with emotion, Tady spoke from the depths of his heart. His words a heartfelt confession of love that echoed across the sands. He poured out his hopes and his dreams, laying bare his soul before the Selkie Maiden who listened with a tenderness that filled him with an overwhelming sense of joy. In that enchanted moment, as if plucked from a timeless legend, amidst the eternal allure of the sea and sand, Tady and Mwirin affirmed their love their hearts uniting in a bond that transcended the realm of mortal beings. With the seal skin clasped tightly in her hands, the Selkie revealed her human form to Tady, shedding her ethereal guise to stand before him in all her natural splendour. And so, Tady Rua O'Dowd and Mwirin were united in marriage, their souls forever entwined in a union blessed by the ancient spirits of the land and sea. Together they embarked upon a journey of love and discovery their days filled with laughter and joy as they raised their seven doting children amidst the fresh sea breeze. In the years that followed, Tady and Mwirin lived a life of idyllic bliss, their love enduring through the trials and tribulations of life. Blessed with children as wild and free as the ocean itself, they reveled in the simple pleasures of family and home, their hearts overflowing with gratitude for the love that bound them together. As the sun set upon the horizon, casting its golden rays upon the sea, Tady and the Selkie stood hand in hand, their love a beacon of light amidst the ever-changing tides of time. And though their journey was not without its challenges, they faced each obstacle with courage and determination, knowing that as long as they had each other, they could weather any storm that came their way. Yet amidst the idyllic tranquility of their coastal haven, a shadow lingered on the horizon, casting a pall over their happiness. For Tady, the weight of responsibility bore down upon him like the unstoppable and unyielding tide his heart heavy with his duties as a chieftain, a father, and a husband. And so, driven by a fear as deep as the ocean's depths, he made a fateful decision that would forever alter the course of their lives. In a moment of desperation, Tady resolved to hide Murin's seal skin, driven by the irrational fear that she would one day return to the sea, leaving him bereft and alone. For he saw how she looked at the sea. With a longing he could not fulfil. 
With trembling hands and a heavy heart, he concealed the precious garment in a secret chest. Convinced that he was safeguarding their future happiness. But fate has a way of unravelling even the most carefully laid plans, and Tady's actions would soon come back to haunt him. For unbeknownst to him, their youngest child, Eamon, had witnessed his father's clandestine deed, his innocent curiosity leading him to search for the golden treasure his father had surely hidden. And he dug in the sand for hours until he found an old wooden box buried on the beach. It was on a day like any other, with the sun hanging low in the sky and the sea whispering its timeless secrets, that Mirren's world came crashing down around her. As she went about her daily tasks, her thoughts turned to the curious behaviour of her beloved husband a sense of unease gnawing at her, like a relentless tide. And then, like a bolt from the blue, Eamon's words pierced the silence like a dagger, revealing the truth that lay hidden beneath the surface. With trembling hands, and a heart heavy with dread, Mwirin uncovered the sealskin, her worst fears realised in an instant. In that moment of revelation, as the truth washed over her like a tidal wave, Mwirin's heart was torn asunder torn between the love she bore for her husband and the pull of the ocean that called to her like a siren's song. With tears streaming down her face, she stood upon the threshold of a choice that would forever alter the course of her fate. Her heart torn between the land and the sea, between duty and desire. As Mwirin stood amidst the shifting sands of Enniskron, her heart was a tumultuous sea of conflicting emotions. On one hand, she felt the irresistible pull of her ocean home, the call of the waves echoing in the depths of her soul. Yet, on the other hand, her love for Teddy Rua and their children tethered her to the land, anchoring her in a world she had grown to cherish. With each passing moment, Muriel grappled with the weight of her decision torn between yearning for freedom and the bonds of love that had held her fast. Her mind wandered back to the countless moments of joy and laughter she had shared with her family. Memories that now felt bittersweet in the face of impending farewell. As the gentle moon glowed above the horizon, casting its silvery rays upon the sea, Murin made her solemn decision. Under a cloud of sorrow and with tear-filled eyes, she bid farewell to the land that had been her home, her sanctuary, her prison. As Murin made her way towards the sea with her seven cherished children, 
her heart brimmed with a mix of sorrow and determination. She knew that for her older children, it was time to take their place as guardians of the coastline, a responsibility passed down through generations of their Selkie lineage. With gentle words and tender embraces, Mwirin explained to her six eldest children the solemn duty that awaited them. As the sea whispered its secrets and the stars shimmered overhead, she guided each child to a spot along the shore where they would forever watch over the land they had called home. With a touch as gentle as the caress of the evening breeze, Morin transformed her beloved children into rugged rocks, each one bearing the imprint of their unique spirit. Though it was a bittersweet moment, filled with tears and farewells, Mwirin knew that her children would find solace in their new roles, their love for the land immortalised in stone. And so, with young Eamon tucked snugly inside her cloak, Mwirin ventured into the waves, her soul burdened by the weight of her choices, but buoyed by the knowledge that her family's legacy would endure for generations to come. With a final glance back at the land that had been her home, Mwirin took a deep breath and submerged herself and her child beneath the waves, their human forms dissolving into the embrace of the ocean. And as she transformed into her true selkie self, her heart swelled with a sense of liberation, knowing that she was finally free to roam the depths of the sea once more. As they disappeared silently beneath the waves, their departure left the coastline bathed in the soft glow of moonlight. As they ventured into the depths of the sea, the selkie rocks remained as silent sentinels, bearing witness to Mwirin's sacrifice and the eternal bond with the ocean. For generations to come, the selkie rocks would stand as a reminder of Mwirin's courage and the enduring connection between humanity and the natural world. Though Mwirin had returned to her ocean home, her legacy lived on in the hearts and minds of those who cherished the untamed beauty of the wild Atlantic Ocean. And so it is said that whenever an O'Dowd passes away, the Selkie Rocks, looking out over Bartra Island, still lament to this day. Reflecting on the tale of Mwirin and Tady Rua O'Dowd, we uncover a rich symbolism and themes that resonate deeply with the human experience. At its core, the Selkie's tale speaks to the universal longing for freedom and the complexity of love. Mwirin's struggle between her love for Tady and her innate connection to the sea 
embodies the timeless conflict between duty and desire. Her journey underscores the profound sacrifices we often make in the pursuit of love and belonging, and the difficult choices we face when our hearts are torn between conflicting loyalties. Tady's role in the story is equally significant. As the chieftain of his clan and Mwirin's husband, he represents the tether that binds her to the land. However, his decision to hide Mwirin's seal skin out of fear reflects the darker side of love, possessiveness and control. Despite his love for Morin, Tady's actions ultimately betray a lack of trust and acceptance, highlighting the complexities of human relationships. Through Morin's story, we are reminded of the importance of acceptance and letting go. Despite Tady's attempt to control her fate, Mwirin ultimately finds the courage to embrace her true nature and follow her heart's calling. Her decision to return to the sea serves as a powerful reminder that true freedom lies in embracing our authentic selves, even if it means letting go of the familiar comforts of home. As modern listeners, we can glean valuable lessons from Wirin and Tady's journey. Their story encourages us to confront our own fears and insecurities, and to embrace the unknown with courage and resilience. Wirin's unwavering determination to forge her own path despite Tady's attempts to control her, reminds us that true fulfilment comes from following our hearts, even when the journey ahead is uncertain. The Selkie myth holds a special place in global folklore, resonating with similar tales of transformation and longing from cultures around the world. From the seal women of Scottish folklore to the mermaids of Greek mythology, stories of beings caught between two worlds are woven into the fabric of human storytelling. What unites these diverse tales is their exploration of universal themes such as love, loss and the search for identity. Across cultures, we find common motifs of creatures shedding their skins to reveal their true selves, symbolising the eternal struggle to reconcile our inner desires with the expectations of society. At the same time, each culture brings its own unique perspective to these timeless themes reflecting the cultural nuances and values that shape our understanding of the world. Whether it's the haunting melodies of Celtic ballads or the epic sagas of ancient Greece, the Selkie myth serves as a powerful reminder of the enduring power of storytelling to connect us across borders and generations. As we reflect on Wirin's journey and the legacy of the Selkie Rocks, let us embrace the universal truths embedded within these ancient tales. Let us celebrate the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring bond between humanity and the natural world. And let us remember that, like Wirin, we all have the power to chart our own course and shape our own destiny.
guided by the timeless wisdom of our collective myths and legends. As we come to the end of our journey into the mystical realm of the Selkie, let us take a moment to reflect on the profound lessons and timeless truths we have uncovered along the way. Through the captivating tale of Murin and Tady Rua O'Dowd, we've glimpsed the universal yearning for freedom and the intricate dance of love and sacrifice. Their story reminds us of the enduring bond between humanity and the natural world and the resilience needed to navigate life's challenges. And so we say goodbye to Murin, Tady, and the rugged shores of Enniskron. But let's carry forward the lessons learned from their odyssey. Let us embrace the unknown with courage and curiosity, drawing strength from the stories that shape our lives and illuminate our paths. Join me next time on The Sleepy Scholar, where more enchanting tales and thought-provoking insights await. Until then, may your dreams be filled with wonder and magic, guiding you to awaken refreshed and inspired to explore the boundless possibilities ahead. Ihawai, good night.